Good morning. We have now nine o'clock a.m. and we slept really good. Попрошик. Nice campsite was, nice service, and I paid only 300 crowns for one night, so I think it's. Very cheap in Norway. But if you can communicate good, I think everywhere you can have some discount on long journeys. Today it would be nice to reach Domba city. It's in 85 kilometers from where we are now, but we will need to climb altitude so it might be steep mountains and a lot of incline today so and I'm not sure or we will manage to cycle this 85 kilometers because it looks like that it will be some hard day hello For those who follow me from the start, you should remember this park in Obdal city where I was duct taping my left shin splint. Ow! Oh, now it's not moving. Whew! Looks good. <laughs> I'm an Iron Man. <laughs> where I couldn't walk at all, so yeah guys. Time flying fast, that's for sure. I think it's like six months ago we was here with my injured left leg and now I'm cycling back with both legs injured Well, 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 what we have here. 418 kilometers to the Oslo. 
that's nice. Lunch break with some carbos. <laughs> Skull. I got a couple cans of soda from this child family that we was visiting when we was walking towards Norcap in September. So I just thought that it's not a bad idea to visit them again and say thanks one more time because in last September they helped us a little bit and I was passing now them so I thought it would be just nice to say hello one more time and give a handshake and now let's eat some nuts let's drink some sodas and let's push forward all the way to the one kilometer altitude We are at 1030 meters altitude and it's the highest point of E6 main road and I think it's the highest point that we ever will cycle in this journey. So let's celebrate. Skol, Davai, Nazdorovia, Isvikata, cheers. This is good. 1030 meters altitude. 8 o'clock p.m. and we still have our 20 kilometers. <coughs> oh. By the way, I got a call from one lady and one guy. They're friends and they wanted to support us. So they asked where we are and where we're heading today. And guess what? <laughs> they just booked for us a room in the guest house. That's just lovely, guys. It's really nice to have so much people who's willing to help us and motivate us. But from the other perspective, no one done this. To walk across the country in the winter and then cycle back. And we would soon be done in the hard way, guys. So if you think it's very easy just to walk or cycle, it's the easiest part actually. The hardest part is money. To eat good, to have good gear and yeah, but we have what we have. Finally, let's fucking find the room and go to sleep, guys.
Koşa. Koşa. Çak koşa. Nice. Nice guys. Finish guys. Day is over. We have today 85 kilometers almost. We was on the highest point of E6 road. Also the highest point that we were cycling yet. So yeah, not bad day guys. And by the way, we in Donbar city, 320 kilometers from Oslo. Good morning, good morning guys, beautiful weather today, at least it looks like, and today we're having a Sunday, and in Sundays no shops working, so we have no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner, at all, so probably I need to go to some gas station or something, and I need a haircut, that's for sure. So today plan is to cycle to the Otto town, it's 50 kilometers from here and maybe I will find some gas station there in the evening to buy some dinner because gas station have some hot dogs, hamburgers. So in this city, Donbass, I can buy from gas station food for the dinner because it will be wasted by the end of the day. So let's pack and let's push. Let's have a walk first because I'm planning to keep Sinbad in the trailer for all day. He need to rest a little bit and we have only 50 kilometers so I will manage without his help. Beautiful day guys, no wind at least here. No clouds on the sun. Perfect. Good boy. Hop. He don't like to be in this cage. But what we can do about it?
Let's get some breakfast. From an expensive gas station. Two of those? Yeah. So I just ate my breakfast and now let's push to the Ota town. 50 kilometers, not so far. Also a lot of decline because we at 700 meters altitude. So it will be some downhills. I need to wash this trailer somewhere. All gear is dirty.
Ota. And here we arrive, guys. Super easy day. Sinbad also was resting all day. 50 kilometers done. And now let's go to the cabin. I don't know, you can see, but there is a little bridge. And after we cross the bridge, the campsite is supposed to be. Let's push. Just check this out, guys. It has McDonald's. Bravo. Because today is Sunday. No shops working. And I'm totally out of food. And it's working, nice. <sighs> Let's spend our last coins for some cheeseburgers. Let's enjoy the meal. <laughs> okay, let's find number five cabin and let's eat our cheeseburgers and rest number six, number five, and here is the key inside the lock. Perfecto. Super! Super! So this cabin costs 650 crowns. Not much but not cheap either. And that's it from today guys. I'm going to eat cheeseburgers. Going to walk with Sinbad. And then I'm going to jump to the bed. I will sleep in this bed. And Sinbad will sleep in this bed. Good morning, good morning guys, we were staying for two days actually here because I needed to edit videos and I needed to rest my knees because my knees in really big pain. By the way we have today February 27th and it's 11 o'clock am in the morning and today it would be nice to reach Lillehammer in 100 11 kilometers so let's do some shit and let's move What a boring day guys I can feel already this boring day vibes Nothing what to film, nothing what to talk to camera 
I guess we should take easy today. I think Okay, soon but half couple kilometers and it will be enough. We're going back on the main road. So he have nothing more to do on the road. Good boy. Only a couple of kilometers, I drive without sin but now I need his help again because what the fuck is this? And now I'm wondering does this fence will end up on this corner because navigation showing that here we're supposed to come across the main road again. If not, we need to turn around all the way back and take big circle around there. Fucking shit. Ah, fuck us, guys. We need to turn around. It's no exit to the main road. This fucking fence is... A good 20 minutes I was pushing the bike through the snow. Okay, let's turn around. Finally we're back on the main road. Sinbad is back in the trailer again. And let's push. We lose like 40 minutes going by the side road. And the side road was like shit. So guys, we're looking for a place where we could lay down for a night and I found this train station building 
<laughs> Only one problem that from nine o'clock in the evening they closing until six o'clock. That if I just lock myself in, I think it's no problem. <laughs> We're missing 23 kilometers from the original goal of today, but it became very dark and I thought, fuck it. Fuck yeah, we're going here, guys. Nothing what to do. The horse with the carriage inside the garage. Now let's find some corner where to lay down the mattress with sleeping bags. We have power station, we have toilets, but we need to pay for it. Nice job, guys. One more beautiful day, guys. See you tomorrow.